Hi everyone. This video is going to be about the storms, the tornadoes, the uh, capture uh, that I got on radar showing an awful lot of harp next red rings intersecting in the areas of tornadoes. But first I want to thank everyone for your support and your uh, the comments that you left. Underneath my last video, what did I title it? I am a gatekeeping tranny truther. Please understand, I don't, I don't care about that guy. Um, and I don't take a whole lot personally. That doesn't mean I don't feel it personally. I'm not talking about that um, particular video, but when you recognize that people are behaving this way and they're real people, you know, they're not just like trolls or paid chills. Yes, we do have to, we do have to call them out because they are absolutely part of the problem and we've got a lot of problems. So the point of the video was just using that guy as an example of a whole lot of people and then you know talking about how we really do need to work on ourselves um, to try to just better ourselves so that we can manifest something different than what we have manifested okay tornadoes I want you to listen to this broadcast. The other major news we're following tonight, that devastating tornado outbreak that has taken at least eight lives, including two children, more than 15 reported twisters and tornado watches stretching up to Ohio. A family speeding away with this terrifying tornado in the back window of their car in Hearn, Texas. Homes turned to splinters and blowing away in Hamilton, Mississippi. Also in that state, one person was killed in this home in Monroe County. ABC's Marcus Moore is in Alto, Texas, where two tornadoes touched down. Tonight, that deadly storm system on the move, leaving a trail of destruction across the south, killing at least eight and injuring dozens. We're still getting reports of tornadoes on the ground. In Texas, a powerful EF3 tornado with 140 mile per hour winds in Franklin, leveling homes, others shredded with debris scattered everywhere. The violent winds flipping over cars and toppling trees, leaving thousands without power. My house was just lifted, just scattered over the backyard. And this is the spot where about 100 people gathered for an annual event at that building there, off in the distance, the storm coming through, tossing around these cars, and that building took a direct hit. Sadly, one person passed away. In Cherokee County, people seeing ruins where their homes once stood. We were in Alto, a town hit by two powerful tornadoes in 90 minutes as residents came back to their neighborhoods trying to make sense of the unrecognizable. All I have is the clothes I have on my back right now. The winds from this event so strong uprooting this tree and claiming the lives of a three-year-old and eight-year-old in Angelina County. I noticed that the tree had fallen on their vehicle. I knew that you know it wasn't a good outcome. Mississippi State University telling its students to take cover after a tornado warning was issued. This drone footage revealing the scale of the damage left behind. And farther north, this likely tornado claiming another life in Monroe County. This weekend, nearly 200 incidents of severe weather from Texas to South Carolina. <laughs> Heavy rain also prompting rescues. Watch as first responders carry away this woman and a young girl after their SUV got stuck in a flooded ditch. And in Louisiana, this elementary school engulfed in flames. Officials say the fire might have been started by a lightning strike. Luckily, no one was hurt. Marcus Moore joins us now live in that town hit by two tornadoes and the devastation everywhere you look, Marcus. Yeah, Tom, it is everywhere, and you can see what the storm did to this apartment complex just behind me. There were three people inside. They managed to escape unhurt, crawling out of the front door, thankful to be alive tonight. And, Tom, this is a scene that is repeated across this region. And when you see that roof collapse, it is incredible they survived. All right, Marcus, thank you. That threat is on the move tonight. ABC senior meteorologist Rob Marciano is here and tracking it. New Okay, so a lot of people, oh, they're taking out a lot of people. This uh, 
weather warfare. And they're calling for more severe weather this week. So it seems as if they are absolutely ramping up the use of weather. And we are seeing it all over. Uh, you know, when you have one event and it does tremendous damage and thousands of people are affected. You know, everybody pays attention to it and pays attention to it for a long period of time. When we see pockets, communities, you know, a few homes destroyed, we don't think it's such a big deal, but we're seeing it over and over and over again. It's a repeated occurrence. And that repeated occurrence now is coming more frequently. You know, and when I listen to these broadcasts, inevitably, I will hear trees down, trees down, trees down. And then I'll hear the reporter talk about how, well, there's been so much rain, the ground is so saturated that trees are just falling over. You know what? That's not the case. The trees are incredibly sick and weak from all of the toxic chemicals, heavy metals that they are spraying, the geoengineering, also the use of extremely low frequencies that are emitted through the ground. So here, apple disease, rapid apple decline or sudden apple decline. There is a mystery surrounding rapid apple decline, sudden apple decline of young dwarf apple trees. Do you know how many trees are sick all over? This is in Pennsylvania, the Northeast, and states in the South. Well, guess what? I just see the trees here, and it's in South Carolina. It is, it's heartbreaking to see this fungal disease on every single tree, except for the crepe myrtle, for some reason. Um, and no one's talking about it. Here, the weakening of Earth's magnetic field has greatly accelerated, could have uh, apocalyptic implications for all of us. Of course, of course, the Earth's magnetic field is getting significantly weaker. Why? Well, I posted videos on Kafka Winston World. Physicists were talking about the magnetic field, the effects of HARP on the magnetic field. So are we looking at what some physicists spoke of, the videos that I posted on Kafka Winston World, and I'm sorry that I can't remember uh, those physicists' name, names, but I do remember uh, Rosalie Bertel talking about the effects, the implications of HARP, and that it could have adverse effects that would be out of control. Are we looking at out of control weather now? Or are they actually controlling all of what we are seeing? Well, when we see the signatures of the frequencies, yes, they're controlling it. So. Also, what's happening off the coast of Northern California? The earthquakes? Okay. What have I seen? The recent few nights, a massive amount of intense frequencies, pretty much throughout the entire state of California. And these, um, extremely low frequencies. I have never seen them.
going right on up from Southern to Northern California. Extremely low frequencies can cause earthquakes. Very powerful frequencies in use in California. And I want to show you, just in case you don't know, um, the earthquakes that have been taking place right off the coast. 4.6, 4.4, 4.19, off the coast of Oregon. 10. 10 is generally the number that you can pretty much bet that it is, uh, well, a harp induced or a harp like frequencies that have induced or extremely low frequencies that have induced this earthquake. Now I know that you guys in California get a lot of earthquakes, but do you get 4.6, 4.4, 4.19, 4.7? The depth, they're all shallow. I believe that these earthquakes have been caused by the extremely low frequencies that you are seeing shooting off from Southern to Northern California. For those of you who don't know what the signatures of extremely low frequencies are, when you see these straight lines, when you see these frequencies that are like right here, it's like a pie cutout. These are extremely low frequencies. So, yeah. Now, of course, one would be concerned about these <laughs> uh, earthquakes that are taking place. Here is a uh, 4.3 in Utah and a 4.9 in eastern Idaho. April 9, the one in Utah, April 14. Okay, the Gulf of California, you had a 5.2. Um, hang on for a second. A cat would like to come in. So I just let her out. And how many times have I been doing that? Well, probably three or four times every five minutes. What is going on, you? You know, the cats have been crazy today. And guess what? Well, I had an awful lot of weather taking place. Frequencies. All right. Um, it is very concerning what is taking place. So, what else do I have? Uh, hail. Look at this hail. Called, uh, I think she's called it starfish hail. Hail the size of baseballs, tornadoes, and flooding in some areas. Death toll from tornadoes, severe storms in south, rises to eight. I mean, how, my God, Minnesota governor calls for National Guard to help with snowstorm relief efforts. What is happening in Minnesota, guys? Um, it's unfortunate that searching for things now is really, it's hard to come by what you want exactly. Because of mainstream media and their dramatic reporting, and very often nothing happens, but when I see that the Minnesota National Guard has been called out to assist with search and rescue operations, what is going on in Minnesota? Please, you guys, let us know. 
you guys, up in Minnesota. Power outages from Texas, Mississippi, um, I believe Alabama, Minnesota. There are hundreds of thousands of people who are experiencing power outages almost on a regular basis now. Tornadoes. Yeah, we had a tornado warning in Anderson. Uh, it was okay, but I don't know about the other areas, but I'm okay. So for those who have warned me about the tornadoes, I'm, you know, we got massive downfall of rain for a couple of minutes, but that's it. But North Carolina, flooding down trees after tornado confirmed in Harnett, Wake Counties, in Raleigh, North Carolina. All right, Alabama as well, tornadoes, latest storm, photos, videos. Okay, I will link below to everything. You can check it out um, by clicking on the link. But this is what I got, and this was at uh, 3 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, like, yesterday morning because now it's the 15th okay this was this was April 14 April 14 at uh, 3 o'clock in the morning do you see all of the harp next red signatures intersecting intersecting one two three a huge one so you take these circles and you go full out in a circle and anywhere in the center or you know close to the center of those circles you can have tornadoes so what did we have tornadoes so I unfortunately was unable to capture what was happening in Mississippi or Texas, you know, but when you see this, you know that you can expect. Look at this. Look at this one. Now, something is happening here. You see the harp, the next red harp ring, right? You see that circle. But there is something pulsing through this. I've never seen uh, a wavy. You see an extremely low frequency going through here. Going through the high frequency heating from the Doppler radar. That is very strange how it just kind of waves around. Yeah, I've been seeing unusual patterns on radar in particular. This seems very eerie, what's happening over here, uh, which is what? Um, I believe that's Oklahoma and Kansas, Arkansas right here, Missouri. Look at this bizarre wave pattern. Well, sound waves, okay? You take intense frequencies at a certain, um, like a power level, and yeah, you can have very strange happenings. Well, I just needed to document that, yep, harp, look at the harp next red rings right here. These signatures are man's hand. Yeah, and you can see, look, look at what's happening in, in South Carolina, the sudden eruption of little, it's like, oh my God, like floating bubbles or something uh, of precipitation. 
All of this is very strange, but look at California, too. Um, which we'll get to in one sec. Look at the amount of free high, I mean, um, extremely low frequencies. You see this perfect line right here. And you can see the, the perfect uh, break of precipitation. And it's all fanning out. And you also have these extremely low frequencies that are crossing one another. That is very dangerous. Up here in Eureka, um, the border of Oregon. This is um, Oroville Dam territory. Look at these frequencies. So they they're doing this for a reason because we don't normally see such intense frequencies. And this is Southern California. These frequencies crossing one another. Yeah. Well, Wish I could tell you exactly what you know they're doing and why they're doing it and what the implications are. I'd have to be an insider to know all of that. Guys, this is being done intentionally. People are really suffering. So weather modification by artificial satellite to influence the jet stream. Uh, cause precipitation, increase the humidity. This technique can also be used to modify the jet stream path and therefore modify the weather. Results in rapid heating. And I, look, weather modification by artificial satellites, there are people who just don't believe that there are satellites at all. Um, but you can read this patent and find out exactly how they accomplish using satellites for weather modification. The frequencies coming from the satellites. They can rapidly heat air masses. Uh, they can create a whirlwind or a small tornado. And I think this is what we are seeing. Whirlwind or tornado strength can be increased or decreased. Microwave heating of cold, rainy downdrafts. They can mitigate tornadoes. They can use it as weather uh, mitigation or weather intensification. To use the plasma pattern as a heating element in localized region, regions and generate acoustic waves, extremely low waves, sound waves. Influence wind speed and direction. Hurricane mitigation could then be accomplished in the early stages of a hurricane development. The acoustic waves, which are the sound waves, which are the extremely low frequencies, important in influencing weather systems. Acoustic energy, a strong correlation with tornadic activity, acoustic waves, can be generated by the air heating plasma pattern by oscillating the heating beam at an appropriate acoustic frequency. High frequency heating modulated with extremely low frequencies. 
voila, you can have a cyclone. You can have a tornado. You can do all sorts of things. And uh, with this method, uh, you can create a high humidity air, air mass and form clouds. You can increase the moisture content of the air mass. As the high humidity air rises to higher altitudes, it begins to cool and form clouds. Here's another patent, cosmic particle ignition of artificially ionized plasma patterns in the atmosphere. What can you do with this? Well, you can heat the atmosphere regional, regionally or locally. You can steer winds. You can influence weather phenomena. You can influence the charge distribution in mesocyclones. And you can have a means of lightning protection or you can create lightning. Here, hurricane and tornado control device. You can affect the formation and direction of weather system by projecting sound waves toward periphery of weather systems and sound waves can cause it to rain. Hence the reason you see these signatures. The harp or the that's the high frequency heating that you can see right there but these what we refer to as these uh, harp nexrad nexrad doppler um, all of these circles right here and you have plenty of them in the periphery of the storm Yeah, God, I wish all of this would stop. I wish we could just go back to living life how we used to live in. Method of interrupting a tornado. Oh, ultra cold substances released at low altitudes in area of tornadic activity. Manipulation of the jet stream for alleviation of drought and floods or to cause drought and floods. And I'm sorry, but this was part of this paper, Atmospheric Heating as a Research Tool. Ah, well, this paper describes either ground or space-based platforms, satellites, for generating beams of microwave radiation to provide localized thermal heating or ionization of the atmosphere. Prevention of severe storm produced tornadoes. Heating of rain with microwaves. Weather modification, tornadoes. You can modify the jet stream via satellites using a microwave phased array. That's what Nexred Doppler is. Yes. Rotational energy. That is the uh, extremely low frequencies as you see them fanning out in a rot you you see this rotation of energy. Well you can heat, heating the cold, rainy downdrafts with precise rotation geometry that can produce a tornado and interrupt tornado formation. But they don't ever do that, do they? No, they let these tornadoes hit. They create the tornadoes to destroy homes influencing hurricanes and typhoons by influencing position of the jet stream and the behavior of atmospheric gravitation waves is also discussed in the paper. Here, near surface intensification of tornado vor 
vortice, uh, tornadoes may be intensified. High power, extremely low. Frequency radiation generated by modulated high frequency heating of the ionosphere can cause earthquakes, cyclones, localized heating. And that's exactly what you are seeing right here. High frequency heating, all of these uh, perfect circles, that, that's the high frequency heating coming from our Doppler radar stations. And then they, they, they pulse these frequencies into the ionosphere and they come down as extremely low frequencies. And that's how they modify the weather. What is this? Microwaves to heat the atmosphere. Yep. Microwaves to generate plasma patches and potentially control severe weather. Well, they create the severe weather. The effects of fine scale debris on near surface tornado dynamics. Yes, they can actually get um, planes that they can drop small scale debris within the surface layer and control flow which can significantly alter the wind speeds and flow structure of the tornado within a few hundred meters of the surface. Its total mass of the debris cloud it can reach tens of thousands of tons. Debris mass loading Yes, loading a tornado with debris to intensify the tornado. Now, when we see these tornadoes that are like a mile long, that's, that should beg questions in everybody's mind. But I do want to end this with just showing you this. Now, this was Great Barrington, Massachusetts. Here you have the black carbon dust, all of the black that you can see. Uh, they use that to modify the weather, right? Okay. So I come walking out of my door, get in my car, and I drive right around the corner, literally right behind my house, and I see this. On a perfectly fine day, I see this. Okay, this was in 2011. July 7, 2011. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, what the hell? People are walking by it, not even paying attention. And I am thinking, this looks like a tornado, right? It looks like a tornado. Doesn't look like just a regular cloud on a fine day. Where the hell did this come from? It was created. It was created. Huh. And it then just broke apart. It, I, I, the things that I have seen are just so unbelievably bizarre. And then you, you try to uh, bring this to the attention of people, and they're just not even interested. They have let they have no interest. And this is when I just drove away because it was like, well, <laughs> it just became this, like a black. It, it turned black. So they can do a lot, a whole lot. Imagine. If they can create this, and it wasn't windy, okay, and this is a fine day, it wasn't even raining, no storms, nothing, but they have what looks like a, a tornado cloud. Um, well, if they can do that, and they can whip up winds, they can get people to believe that it's a tornado when it's not. Acoustic waves, those extremely low frequencies, they can actually create wind. Yeah.
Well, that's all I have for you. And I apologize for not leaving the links to all of these, um, the patents. But, well, all right, I will. I will leave the links. Guys, there's a lot of people who need help. A whole lot of people who really need help. A lot of people who are no longer in their homes, once again. People that look, the numbers are adding up every day. So I sure do hope that everybody in the community is helping everybody because that that is the best way. You know, you can't, outside of just donating money, you can't do much for anybody who's, let's say, living in California and this occurs in Mississippi or Alabama. Yeah, I sure do hope that these people are getting the help that they need. All links are below.